Hello everyone, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Stories. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some basic combos for Solomon Greats. If you guys like these combos, hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more advanced combos, like 2 to 3 card combos, or like test hands, how to make the best of test hands, be sure to hit that like button and let me know down below. But this is just for the new players that want to learn the deck, don't really know the place it has. Gazelle is the heart and soul of the deck. And we're just going to show you some combos that Gazelle can do. There's two combos that Gazelle can do. The one ends with a negate, and the other one just builds an advantage. So let me just show you guys. You're going to normal summon Gazelle, and you're going to send Roar to the graveyard. You're going to link Gazelle into Baylinx. Baylinx is going to give you Sanctuary. You're going to use Sanctuary's effect to relink to Baylinx, and Roar will trigger to set itself. That's a one card Gazelle combo that ends you with a negate. Nothing bad, but um, it's not really strong, but it's super consistent. Now we're gonna show you another combo that builds advantage. So you're gonna summon Gazelle, activate its effect, send Spinny to the grave, summon Spinny by its own effect. Gonna overlay to Mirage Stallion. You're gonna activate Stallion's effect. You're going to summon out your Jack Jaguar. Now from here, you're going to link these two guys into a Sunlight Wolf. Now you're going to use Jack Jaguar's effect to return back your Stallion. Summon it underneath Sunlight Wolf, triggering Sunlight Wolf's effect, giving you back the Gazelle. So this is basically free because you have Gazelle back in your hand. Now you're going to link summon your Jack Jaguar into your Baylinks, Baylinks effect. You're going to get your Sanctuary activated. You're going to relink the Baylinks for another copy of Baylinks. And all that does is just gives you protection because you can banish the Baylinks from the graveyard. But um, that nets you a plus three just off of Gazelle. But this is not what you would call it this is you don't have any disruption it just straight up builds advantage okay now i want to show you guys one more combo it's a lady debug combo it's another one card combo really similar to gazelle so you're gonna summon debug add gazelle to your hand going to link summon veil links of course, you're going to trigger the effect of Veilinx, then you're going to chain Gazelle. That way, Veilinx can't get ashed. You're going to get Sanctuary to your hand, and now Gazelle's effect will trigger. And you're going to send Spinny to the graveyard. You're going to trigger Spinny's own effect, summon itself, and to Overlay, to Stallion. And this should look very familiar. You're going to use Stallion's effect. Summon Jaguar. Now you're gonna summon Sunlight Wolf using these two. And now you're going to reincarnate summon which one called the Sunlight Wolf to another Sunlight Wolf. And you're going to shuffle back your Sunlight Wolf using Jack Jaguar's effect to your deck, to your extra deck, summoning off your Jack Jaguar. That'll trigger Sunlight Wolf's effect and you get Cassell back to your hand. So this is a Lady Debug combo and that's your plus four and it gives you Cassell back to your hand. It doesn't end with any disruptions, but this is all free advantage that you made off one Lady Debug. And now we're gonna go into two card combo with Lady Debug. This is actually a pretty good combo. So all you require is Lady Debug and either Gazelle or Spinny. The one you don't draw is the one you're going to search off Lady Debug. So we're going to say we have Spinny, right? So two card combo. Normal summon, you're gonna search your Gazelle. You're going to link summon. You already know, Veilinx, Veilinx effect, chain Gazelle. Veilinx gives you this to your hand. Activate Gazelle's effect. Now you want to send Roar this time since you already have your Spinny. And you're going to activate Spinny's effect to discard it to give whichever one 500 more attack. Secondary effect to summon itself from the graveyard. 
It's an overlay into Stallion. Effect of Stallion. Summon your Jack Jaguar. Now you link these two into you already know. Sunlight Wolf. Going to activate. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be in the graveyard. You're gonna activate your sanctuary to relink your sunlight wolf to a second copy. And now you're going to shuffle back that copy to summon Jack Jaguar under Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf will trigger, give you Gazelle back to your hand. And now you can use Sunlight Wolf's reincarnation effect to give yourself a Solomon Grace Pillar Trap to your hand. So you're gonna get the roar. And of course, you wanna set the roar. This was a two card combo that nets you a plus four along with a negate. So it's a pretty combo. Um, this is a combo you want to go into most of the time. And you also have, where is it? You have Veilinx and Lady Debug in the graveyard. But Veilinx can protect any of your Solomon Great Monsters. So yeah, this has been some quick combos for all the new Solomon Great players. If you guys want to see more combos, let me know down below. Be sure to hit that like button. And yeah, I read all your guys' comments. So any comment you guys leave, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for future content. I'll be doing a more like in-depth combo with Solomon Greats. And this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Stories. Peace.